हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेक्स लिंक्ड सेक्स इन्फ्लुएंस्ड एंड सेक्स लिमिटेड थ्रेड्स नाउ वी विल सी इन दिस क्लास अबाउट अनदर एक्सेप्शन टू मेंडेलियन लॉ ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे डिस्कशन इज एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल इनहेरिटेंस सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इट इंडिकेट्स दैट द इनहेरिटेंस इज रिलेटेड टू द जीन्स और द फैक्टर्स विच आर नॉट लोकेटेड ऑन क्रोमोजोम सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल इनहेरिटेंस सो coming to the definition what definition tell that when the transmission of character from parent to offspring is governed by cytoplasmic genes that means ki genes governing this extra chromosomal inheritance are located on cytoplasm not on nucleus so that is why it is also called as cytoplasmic inheritance because genes is located on cytoplasm now there are several synonyms or other names for this cytoplasmic inheritance or extra chromosomal inheritance which include extra nuclear inheritance extra chromosomal inheritance non mendelian inheritance and organelle inheritance there are other names also we will see in the later part of the discussion then what are the features for extra chromosomal inheritance so as in we know the cytoplasm inherit information among different organism now cytoplasm inherit the information and this cytoplasm inherit information with the help of plasma genes that means genes which are located in plasma they are not located in nucleus but it is located in plasma that is why it is called as plasma gene so what is uh, why it is called as plasma gene uh, or what are the properties of plasma gene what is plasma gene plasma gene reside within the cytoplasm and these are the self replicating molecule so plasma genes they are located on cytoplasm and they are having separate self replication property and the offspring receive the cytoplasm only from female gamete not from male gamete we know we have seen uh, the fertilization you have already uh, seen about uh, discuss we have already discussed about the Uh, how this gametes are formed that means gametogenesis oogenesis or spermatogenesis so there we had discussed that only female gamete will contribute cytoplasm male gamete will not contribute cytoplasm that is why only the female gamete is responsible for transmitting it to the offspring so that is why that, that is the reason behind the cytoplasm inheritance that only female will contribute there will not be any contribution of male in cytoplasmic inheritance now based on this property you will see based on this property the cytoplasmic inheritance is also known as maternal inheritance or uniparental inheritance or maternal affect because only one sex that is female is contributing to the this kind of inheritance cytoplasmic inheritance can be studied by reciprocal process we already we have discussed a lot many times about the reciprocal process and here reciprocal process again will help us to understand cytoplasmic inheritance because this reciprocal process and normal process they are have they will have different results they will not have same result now what are the examples so these are the very famous examples about the cytoplasmic inheritance that is plastid inheritance in mirabilis there is four o'clock plant cell coiling in snails kappa particles in paramecium cytoplasmic male sterility in maize plant sigma virus in drosophila melanogaster milk factor in mice and there are so many examples so here the first three examples i have discussed in the next coming slides whereas the next three examples you have to find out 
and you have to understand how they are get, uh, getting inherited and uh, this, this, uh, where the genes are located for these examples so you go through some books or in google you try to find out these examples and try to understand now coming to the first example that is plastic inheritance so it is uh, the four o'clock plant and it was first discovered by Carl Correns. You might be remembering the Carl Correns when we, were we had discussed about the Mendel's law. So in four o'clock plant, Correns reported that he crossed the plant and he took two plants of uh, or uh, first of all, he observed the Mirabilis Jalapa plant and he found that these plants are having in single plant he got three kind of leaves the first one was the green color leaf second one was the uh, white color leaves and third was uh, third type of leaves were the variegated leaf so what he did he took flowers from the white color leaf branch and the female flowers from the white color uh, leaf branch and the main flower uh, male flowers from the red uh, sorry green color leaf branch and he crossed these two flowers and he obtained all white offspring he obtained all of white offspring so at that time he might have thought that this white color is dominant over green color but to his surprise when he did the reciprocal cross so what is this uh, here reciprocal cross he took green color leaf flower female and white color leaf flower male and the progeny he got were the all green leaves all green leaves so here the scenario changed now he might be thinking that okay whether this uh, green color is dominant or white color is dominant he got confused so he might have thought that okay this may be associated with the sex so there may be chances that he might have thought that it is sex leaked inheritance but he didn't stop there and he again proceed so what he did now he took variegated flowers variegated color leaf flowers female and green color male flowers and he crossed both of these now he got the variegated leaf flowers in the next century now he reciprocal uh, he did reciprocal cross of this cross so what he did uh, okay no no variegated color fl uh, flower female crossed with uh, green color flower in male and in that case he got all the three kind of plants that is green plant white plant and variegated plant and again he when he reversed that is he did reciprocal cross he again got the green color flower so now he got confused okay and he might have made a mind or concluded that this is not a six link inheritance this is not normal mental inheritance this is not a sex link inheritance so he might have thought that for this the genes may be on the some other part of the cell not on the chromosome so in this way he find out the cytoplasmic inheritance in mirabilis jalapa plant now coming to the snail cell coiling so we know the snail cell they are coiled either in left side or right side so when it is coiled on right side this is called as a dextral and it is indicated by dominant g cap uh, dominant gene capital d another one is sinistral the left sided coiling it is indicated by small d sinistral now when dextral coiled snail cell were crossed with sinistral dextral female and sinistral male Although they were having capital D small d genotype, the phenotype comes was dextral. 
so it may be thought that okay dextral is dominant but when re re reciprocal cross was done the all the progenies they were having genotype capital d small d only but the phenotype reversed and it was sinister so we'll see how it indicates that there is uh, cytoplasmic inheritance here you see in this example when dextral female were crossed with sinistral male all progenies were dextral although genotype was capital d small d but all the progeny were dextral when there was reciprocal cross that is sinistral female and dextral male all the progeny in f1 generation were sinistral that means it was taking the shape of the female parent now when f1 was self fertilized so in that case what happened one would have expected the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 in genotype and phenotype 3 is to 1 normal mendelian inheritance but we obtained all the dextral cell uh, coiled snail cell why he obtained all the dextral cell uh, coiled snail cell because of the ma maternal inheritance effect of mother but this effect when f2 was self fertilized when f2 generation was self fertilized this effect was get this effect uh, means another uh, next in next generation the maternal effect was not observed why uh, how it was not observed here you can see the ratio is 3 dextral and 1 sinistral as one would have expected in normal mendelian inheritance so why it was obtained 3 is to 1 because the maternal effect is now broken because uh, this uh, f f2 in f2 generation uh, when they were crossed to each other they displayed their original characteristics as per their genotype that is 3 dextral and 1 sinistral so now you might have understand how this cytoplasmic inheritance works then since zygote receive whole of its cytoplasm from the egg we have already discussed the direction of cell coiling in offspring is governed by cytoplasm of the mother so in cell coiling cell coiling in snail the coiling is governed by the cytoplasm of mother another example is kappa particle inheritance in paramecium we know the paramecium the micro uh, organism slippers uh, slipper like phenotype it is having here here you can the, see the uh, phenotype it was first explained by tm sonnenberg tm sonnenborn in paramecium aurelia so here you can see there are two strain of uh, paramecium the killer strain and sensitive strain killer strain there will be dominant gene that is capital k capital k and kappa particle you can see the dot like structure the black dots here that those are the kappa particles whereas in sensitive strain you won't get neither you will get dominant gene nor the kappa particles so here in sensitive strain there is a small k that is a uh, recessive gene the dominant gene carrying kappa particle if there is dominant gene and it is having kappa particle they will produce toxin called is paramycin so such paramecium which are having dominant gene as well as they are having kappa particle so in combination they will prepare a toxic substance that is called as paramycin which makes them killer now what will happen if they will cross so during nuclear exchange so we know you might have studied in your plus 2 classes how this uh, paramecium they are getting reproduced or how they are exchanging their genetic material the process called conjugation so during conjugation when there will be nuclear exchange one dominant and one recessive gene will be exchanged between the killer and sensitive strain during crossing over 
So we'll see in the next slide how when there will be conjugation, one dominant gene from killer strain will go to the uh, sensitive strain and one recessive gene from sensitive will come to the killer making them heterozygote. Progeny, there will be heterozygote. So, what you will see, this one killer strain and one sensitive strain will be the product. Now, during nucleocytoplasmic exchange, in first case it was only nuclear exchange, but now it is nucleocytoplasmic exchange, one dominant and one recessive gene will be exchanged along with the cytoplasmic exchange. So there will be nuclear exchange, the same thing, but along with that there will be cytoplasmic exchange and in that case, in that case both killer strain will be produced. Why? Because one dominant gene will be getting exchanged in both the cases but in second case during cytoplasmic exchange that kappa particle, particle will also get transferred into the sensitive strain making them killer so the same thing you can see in the next slide in the pictorial form so here you can see the killer strain and the sensitive strain this is the exchange the nuclear exchange only nuclear exchange this is only nuclear exchange so in that case there will be uh, exchange of genes but there will not be any exchange of genotype there will not be any exchange of genotype so this is called a nuclear interface in paramecium so there will be one killer and one sensitive as a product now in second case you will see there will be nucleocytoplasmic exchange. So what will happen along with that there will be exchange of kappa particles also. So both the progeny or both the new cells after conjugation will be killer. So this is uh, nucleocytoplasmic inheritance in paramecium. Now, now at last the difference between Mendelian and cytoplasmic inheritance. So, so far whatever we have seen in this uh, discussion uh, this is the summary of those discussion and you may conclude based on this discussion that these may be the differences between the cytoplasmic and Mendelian inheritance so the cytoplasmic uh, inheritance is governed by plasma genes whereas Mendelian uh, with the nuclear gene segregation pattern is distinct in case of uh, Mendelian inheritance it is not distinct we have already seen then reciprocal difference is not observed in the Mendelian inheritance, it is observed in the cytoplasmic inheritance. Maternal effect not observed obviously, it is observed in cytoplasmic inheritance. Gene mapping is easy but uh, it is difficult in case of cytoplasmic inheritance for its obvious reason. Then location of gene chromosome, it is in the cytoplasm or mitochondria. So these are the differences between Mendelian and cytoplasmic inheritance. You might be uh, seeing this type of question in your uh, various examination. So with this I have uh, completed my discussion on cytoplasmic inheritance or extra chromosomal inheritance or non chromosomal inheritance. In the next class we will be discussing on some other topics. So till then goodbye.